Conor McGregor posted a new post on social media announcing his return to the Octagon. The greatest and biggest sports back in history. Are you ready to be a witness? McGregor wrote. But I think McGregor will never return to the Octagon, and here's why. Conor McGregor already hinted at leaving MMA. As we mentioned in one of our previous videos, Conor got his first role in a movie. He will play in the remake of the 1989 action movie Roadhouse. This is not the first time that McGregor got offered to act on the big screen. In the past, the defeat of Nate Diaz and Conor's willingness to avenge that loss prevented him to play the role alongside Vin Diesel. So the producers had to compromise and took Michael Bisping instead. And in the film Game of Thrones, McGregor turned down a role of a silent pirate. But then, Call of Duty's fans were happy to see the UFC superstar as one of the main villains in their favorite game. After taking the role in the remake of the 1989 action movie Roadhouse, it seems like Connor's return to the Octagon is maybe history. The former doubled UFC champ has been waiting for a proper role and opportunity to get into Hollywood, and now his wish has been finally granted. The remake of Roadhouse would probably start filming this autumn, and the Notorious will play alongside the famous actor Jake Gyllenhaal. The movie is about a former UFC fighter who takes on the Mafia. Even though the original movie was nominated for the Golden Raspberry Awards, a parody award honoring the more cinematic underachievements soon will become a hit. Connor liked it and so did the general audience, making the movie a $30 million earning, doubling the $50 million budget. Despite that, so far we can only speculate our guess who would Connor play in the remake. Deadline Hollywood writes that it would be a fully developed character and not a cameo role only to participate. Obviously, he is not there only to take part, he is there to take over. The publication noted that Hollywood has been trying to reach an agreement with the Irishman for a long time. But the reason for the delay is that he wanted his acting debut to be special and therefore waited for a character that would suit him. After receiving a suggestion by the producers, McGregor watched the original Roadhouse for the first time and got hooked up for a role in the remake. But this was not the first time The Notorious showed interest in Hollywood. As mentioned before, after defeating Jose Aldo, when his UFC popularity was at his peak, he was in negotiations with Vin Diesel as a potential actor for a role in the movie Triple X, a role which according to Diesel was specifically created for someone like McGregor. However, Stockton native Nate Diaz had a different plan and beat McGregor in their first fight and spoiled Connor's acting debut, pulling him back on the training mats. I wanted to have an English accent in the movie, Vin Diesel said. I had created a role for Connor McGregor, and after he lost to Nate Diaz, he had to go to a dark place. He had to go to get his manhood back to fight the second time, so he wasn't able to do this film at that time. Connor's disappointment about his loss to Nate Diaz was also a disappointment to the producers of the upcoming movie, since he had already had a verbal agreement for the role in that movie. Regardless of that, Vin Diesel still wanted a UFC fighter for that role, so he invited Michael Bisping instead, who, by the way, is also a charismatic UFC individual. But I needed that accent. I wanted this English accent to be speckled in the movie. But I also wanted someone that could do fight sequences," continued Diesel. A lot of the UFC guys do great fight sequences in movies. You saw one of Pagina Carano in 6 and Ronda Rousey in 7. I had great experiences when putting UFC fighters in the movie. So I wanted someone that had the English accent. They talk like this and I got Michael Bisping to come and do that. Elaborated the actor why a UFC fighter so important for that role. From today's perspective, it was probably the right move for McGregor. Bisbing played in Triple X, but Connor avenged his loss to Nate Diaz, and now years after, here he stands, achieving his dream of getting into Hollywood. Right after refusing the role alongside Vin Diesel, McGregor was offered to play a silent sailor in the TV show Game of Thrones on a ship called Silence, named as such since the captain would cut off the tongues of every sailor who would step on that ship, so there won't be any mutiny. 
The UFC president at the time confirmed this rumor, saying that he is glad McGregor would play the role and that it would be great. However, Conor refused that offer, and maybe the reason was that they offered him this at the wrong place at the wrong time. Dana White in front of me and they were saying, these visitors want you to be in Game of Thrones. I'm binged up, my shin's in a heap. I've been kicking his knees straight for 25 minutes, my legs in bits, and he's trying to offer me a Game of Thrones role, said McGregor in regards to this. I'm trying to be in the fight business, come at me with a real number to fight again. Finished the Irishman explaining why his Game of Thrones role was put to sleep. Before this, in 2016, besides his UFC career, he also played a role of a villain in one of the best shooter games, Call of Duty, Infinite Warfare. The Irish superstar didn't just star in this game for money, but it turned out that this was one of his favorite games that he played a lot in the past. He recalled how he would play Black Ops 2 after a few hours of training, sometimes playing all night long, even forgetting what time it is. And then, when they offered to participate in it, he agreed without any hesitation. Anyway, all of that is history, and now Roadhouse will be the long-awaited Connor's debut in Hollywood. Will Connor do action scenes in the Roadhouse remake? Only time will tell. According to plans, filming would probably start in a month, and that drags McGregor away from the octagon. MMA, I will never forget you. Easy job. I can't believe I'm going to Hollywood. You will all be proud of me, were his words after getting the role. But what do you guys think? Do you think McGregor would act in Hollywood and fight in the UFC simultaneously? Leave your thoughts in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.